how would you define exam technique for someone who's never really come across the concept before? So perhaps a, a student who's been studying on their own and all they're focusing on is, you know, um, the material and how to do, you know, how, how to do the work. Um, how would you define exam technique for, for, for someone who hasn't come across the concept before? Yeah, and, and this, Yvonne, I'll be interested in your view um, after, after kind of I give my um, understanding of it, because I think really what, what I guess we hope to achieve with, with good exam technique is that you're able to live up to your potential and that you're able to, you've almost got the work that you do in terms of your, your academic program. And as you say, you, you read the material, you engage with your lectures or you, you do whatever work it is leading up to the test. And then with good exam technique, I, I guess you would be hoping that that work pays off and you can communicate it well in the actual mm. test. Uh, we, we, I suppose I see a lot of students who, who, who work like crazy mm. and they, they're so dedicated and they're so passionate and it's so admirable. Um, but then when it comes to actually writing a test, then they go, oh man, I got 30%. Yeah. And like, yeah. how can that happen? And, and in a lot of ways, they're so on top of their work and they really know what they're talking about, mm. but they just can't translate it. Mm. Um, and, and I think that's where th th this idea of exam technique has, has come about. And I think it's been a, a big discussion, um, particularly in, in kind of a CA landscape um, over the last 20, 20 30 mm. years, where um, lecturers, students, anyone involved have realized that it's not enough just to know your work. Um, and, and there's this other thing. And I guess that's where this term exam technique has, yes. has, has come in, in terms of translating yeah. what, you, what you know and what you do and kind of what's in your head into actually communicating that to, to almost, I don't know, score marks or show yeah. that you, you know what you should know. Right. Would, would, that, would that kind of fit with- Yeah, I think, with, I, I think that my, my, my understanding is, 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 is quite similar. Um, in terms of the way I talk, I talk about exam technique to my students is that um, there's, a, there's a big difference between knowing stuff and being able to use it. <laughs> you know, so um, for me, one of the big things we've got to be aware of is if I give you a task, whatever that is, you know, whether it's, you know, in studying or in work, um, there's, there's going to be structures, boundaries, rules, uh, whatever around what I what I need you to do in order to achieve that task, and that is always more than just knowing your stuff. You know, knowing the theory or knowing the definitions or, or, or knowing the calculations. I need you to be able to use that information, and more importantly than that, I need you to be able to use that information in the way that I've asked you. You need to be able to interpret the task, interpret the expectations, and work within the boundaries. Um, so I think, you know, students, we kind of limit potentially our thinking to exam technique, but I broaden that to, you know, when you have a job and I give you a project or I give you a task, there are certain limitations. I will give you a deadline. That's a time limitation. You know, you have a week to do the job. Um, you have, you know, th this is your function. This is your software. This is your limitations. This is what you know, this is what you, or whatever the case is. And without understanding that, you know, you can't come back to me and go, oh, you know, the project's really big. I know it was due today, but I'm, I'm going to submit it by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. um, so part of, for me, exam technique is about understanding that there's a very important skill that's often overlooked, which is, can you give me, um, can you give me the, or can you achieve the task? Um, and can you use the information that you have and the knowledge that you have in the way that I've asked you to achieve the task? Because, you know, you can't just say to me, well, Yvonne, I can't actually do that. But I can tell you, you know, I can tell you the theory behind it. <laughs> you know, like I can give you the no, theory, so but I can't do the job. 